Through the Passage Vivienne and past the Church of the Little Fathers, I found the most energetic woman in Paris. When I arrived, she was helping a gentleman with his costume for a ball he was invited to. He was planning to go dressed as some sort of queen. <laughs> Madame Fevrier knows just about all there is to know about flouncy feathers. With the tone of a firm and practical mother, yellow goes well with black, she told the young man. Fascinated, I wandered about while she was finishing with her customer and looked at all the show business memorabilia on the walls. Maurice Chevalier, Jutisi Jean Mer, the Lido, etc., etc. Madame Fevrier said her firm had existed as far back as 1929 and business boomed with the Grand Spectacle after the war. Yes, they made costumes for Mistangue. In fact, there was a corner of signed photographs of her. I worked for Josephine Baker as well, she told me. I asked her how she do the accounts for 15 days, and here she was 23 years later. I wanted to know if she'd ever thought of being a dancer. No, she laughed. I wasn't tall enough. You need to be at least 1 meter 70. That's 5 foot 7. She said her work combined cabarets, the Republican Guard, and the Académie de France. She made the little red tufts on the caps of the Republican Guard and the ostrich feathers for some of their other hats. Before she let me go and see her work in action at the Moulin Rouge, she insisted on showing me Mistanguet's headdress. She explained that the feathers were knotted together, but every time it got dirty, they would have to add another layer of feathers because they couldn't clean it. The result was it simply got heavier and heavier. Fiona told me the girls had to carry an eight kilo battery on their backs to light themselves up for the finale.